my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review and some lip swatches of the Kat Von D Everlasting Mini Liquid Lipstick Set that just came out. It's a limited edition holiday collection that was released. Um, I picked mine up at Sephora, but I believe you can also purchase it through the Kat Von D website. Um, I picked mine up for $49, and basically this is what the um, packaging looks like here. You get all eight of these little mini liquid lipsticks from Kat Von D. Um, and I absolutely love her liquid lipsticks, so when I saw this coming out, I knew I had to pick it up. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into all the details. So, like I said, you get eight shades that come in the collection. Um, you get six of her existing shades, and then she came out with two um, new shades that were in this kit. Um, so the first two, um, this one is Lovesick, and this one is Mother. This one's like a nice light pink it's a beautiful shade this one's kind of like a more of like a rosy um kind of pushing on like a mauve pink they're both um they're both very beautiful shades um the next colors you see that you get here let's see this one is backstage bambi and this is like a hot neon pink it's almost like a Nicki minaj like bright pink and then this one is called luv and it's like a um, I don't even know what you'd call this kind of like a purple magenta shade it's beautiful this is one of my favorites um, but unfortunately this one was a little difficult to work with actually both of these were difficult to work with they're both um, streaky and hard to get like opaque on the lips um, but what I found is if you put like one coat and let it dry and then go in and put a second coat that made it easier to work with um, but regardless this is one of my favorite colors I thought it was just so beautiful so the next two shades are Echo, which is the blue one here, and Santa Sangre, which is a beautiful like orangish red shade. Um, so this blue one was a little hard to work with, um, but again, if you just kind of put on one layer, let it dry, and go in with a second layer, um, it was pretty opaque. Um, I must say I was a little surprised that the blue one was actually like as pigmented as it was. I thought this one was going to be a little more hard to work with than it actually was. Um, this one is absolutely stunning. I'm a sucker for reds. Um, and this one's kind of like an orangish red, and it almost has like orange like reflex when it dries down. Um, and I thought it was so beautiful. So this is one of my favorites as well. And then the last two shades that you get are Plath and Roxy. Um, so this one's Roxy. This is the purple one here, and this one's Plath. And again, these I love both of these colors. Um, these are her new um, releases for her liquid lipsticks. Um, so these two were definitely um, some of my favorites out of the collection. I have Plath on my lips right now, and Roxy is absolutely stunning. I never thought I would like a purple as much as I do. It was a little difficult to work with, um, somewhat streaky, but once it dried down. It looked really beautiful on the lips um, and it was actually a lot more opaque than it looked when I was like putting it on um, So I absolutely love these two colors and I'm so glad I picked up this kit just for these two colors alone So now getting into the um, amount of product you get 0.1 ounces in each of these little liquid lipsticks um, In the regular Kat Von D um, liquid lipsticks you get 0.22 ounces so you get a little less than half um, in the mini liquid lipstick, but I think that's a pretty decent amount um, Like I know in the Kylie like those mini ones she came out with like for her birthday collection It was like 0.01 ounces like almost nothing in there um, So I made sure to check that out before I picked these up um, So I think 0.1 ounces is good. I know personally. I've never used up like a whole full-size liquid lipstick um, so once I saw this I thought it would be perfect because you get to try out a bunch of different colors that you would never purchase I mean me personally I would never pick up like a blue or a purple um, and I absolutely love all of these colors I think this kit is definitely worth it if you're looking to experiment with some different colors um, I mean it's just kind of what you're looking for so overall my opinion on this um, holiday kit is it's definitely worth it I absolutely love it um, I think for me it's kind of something that allows me to like step out of my comfort comfort zone and experiment with some different colors I know personally I would never purchase like a full-size um, blue or like the dark purple liquid lipstick and I actually really love the way they look on um, so I'm happy that I purchased this kit plus I'm obsessed with this color I think um, I may need to buy the full size if I run out of a little mini one um, but for me I think this kit is totally worth it it's just what you're looking for I mean if you want to experiment with some different colors um, you will definitely love this kit um, so I'm happy that I picked this up 
Um, one last thing that I did want to mention is actually, um, I didn't talk about the consistency of these liquid lipsticks. Um, personally, Kat Von D is one of my favorites as far as liquid lipsticks on the market. Um, I think that they are pretty comfortable. I know a lot of people say that they're very drying. I don't know. For me, I feel like they are drying, but they're not heavy. So they feel like very lightweight on the lips. Um, so I don't know, for me personally, Kat Von D is one of my favorites. I feel like it wears very nicely on me. Um, like, um, what is the one that I, Double Dare. Double Dare is like my absolute all-time favorite liquid lipstick. I wear that all the time. I feel like it wears very nicely throughout the day. It doesn't break up too bad, like on the center of my lips. Some of them, um, liquid lipsticks that I've tried can get like crumbly and cakey. And the Kat Von D ones don't do that to me. Um, I haven't worn any of these little mini ones throughout the day, um, but my overall opinion um, and thoughts on the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks are there two thumbs up for me. Um, so I just thought I'd throw that in there if you guys haven't tried any Kat Von D liquid lipsticks prior or in the past. Um, so I think that uh, concludes this um, little review and swatch video. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. I will be sure to get, um, uh, get to those and answer those for you guys. Otherwise, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already so you can catch my next videos. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!